Is that all good? Welcome back, guys. It's part two. Let's just jump right in. Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. The force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope, or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. They could only ever end. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan. 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identifying code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger KGPL. 14 Adam on route. All right. Let's do this. So last time in the first video, I was wondering if Hollywood Land was real, and it is. It actually used to be called Hollywood Land, and they changed it to Hollywood later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how you know they're World War II veterans. You ain't see an NYPD cop jump out of a car so eagerly. Sorry, I said NYPD because I live in New York. Ow! Motherfucker. Where are you at? Oh. Try for the front door, keep your goddamn head down. Use the cover belt. We don't know how many are in there. Take it slow. Backup will be here soon. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you Not a, a chance. A chance to yeah. What the fuck? Yo, I thought that was a grenade. I suck today with this fucking game and shit. Find some cover. Yo, he just fucked up my cover. What the fuck, man? All right, that's it. Let's fucking do this shit. That's it? We got them all? I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. All right. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess it's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. You're the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Beef. Yeah, this guy, main character, got some issues, man. Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk 
away from the fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. Amen. In my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bomb. Wendell Bauer. I put him away before. He jumped for all. Get after retard. him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Guys, guy, this guy's just walking down the street like it's all good. Oh, fuck. Bauer, hold it right there. Stop now or I will shoot. I won't tell you again, Wendell. Yo. Watch your fire. The Don't fuck, man. Give it up, Wendell. Stay the hell away from me. I knew that was gonna happen. You gotta be kidding. You fucking ask for it. No way I'm going back inside. I've done my time. It's over, Bowers. You assholes already screwed me once. Give it up, Bowers. There's nowhere left to go. Fuck you go. Fuck you go. I'll go around. Cut you off. Oh, what? Alright. Ah! <laughs> Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Yeah. Keep that gay shit to yourself, bro. Dude, you're like 250 pounds, you fat fuck. Throw your ass off the roof too. Come on. Wait. Right there. Oh, no, come on. I'm supposed to push him. Boyfriend's not around to help. Yo, what's with the inner window, man? Yes! Oh shit! Oh shit! On track in high school. I didn't I didn't mean to do that. What the fuck? Oh fuck. Part of the tradition of the Marine oh. Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. Leadership, Donahoe, 8. Franklin, 7. Merrill, 6. Kowalski, 6. Face. Weiss, 5. Hudson, five. Kelso, one. Candidate Kelso. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now. Gives you that leg up, gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. No kidding. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. 
You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. I've got friends who work for them. Everybody stay back. Let us... All right. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. This is awful. Just awful. Wait. Can I get my phone out? Wait. Serial number 01138. I need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. Wait. I, I Take it see. with you. Excuse me, officer. I, I just want to see. What do you want to see, bitch? The victim's right there. Come on. I just want to Odd see. Daylight, crowded street. I've seen everything. Hmm. Yes. That's a handsome face you got there. That sound is nasty. Open his mouth. You got something hidden in there. <laughs> Who the fuck just said that? <laughs> People got the funniest comments in this game. Galetta. Clear way receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. So this guy was making <coughs> this guy was making payments on earrings. Looks like fifty-two dollars. Damn, nineteen forty seven? That's some expensive ass fucking earrings. He's been paying off these earrings for a year. God damn. Since 1940, 45, 46. Did he pay him off? Oh, I see balance. Amount. Right, so he had $8 left off to pay, I think. <laughs> he only paid 250 that one time. All right. I like his tie. It's like donuts or something. Looks pretty cool. All right. So respectful. All right, how do I talk to him? Oh. Sir, I'm Officer Phelps. What exactly did you see? I heard the shots. Uh, I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. You want to take a look around now? The witness can wait, Cole. We've got the perimeter. Nice glow. I guess Shell cases. they wouldn't see it otherwise. Like 32s. All right, so dude was shot with a 32. He had a a voucher. I mean, he had a payment evidence for earrings in his pocket. Speak to the witness before homicide arrives, Phelps. If you think she's lying, don't be afraid to get forceful. Verbally, of course. 
Don't accuse her of anything without proof. Lawyers love that shit. And if you're sure she's straight up, try the general approach. See what you can coax out of her. Alright, this is where the game gets interesting. So this is where we gotta keep all our evidence in mind. Because it's gonna come in handy. Uh, can I, can I help you, sir? I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Shoe store clerk, eyewitness to the murder. Alright, let's ask her about. How do I. Oh. Okay. Do you think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, burst in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> that crying seems fake. Yeah, look at that. Look at that facial expression. She's a liar. You're lying, Miss Galetta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Right. Yeah, it was for her. So she was involved. She's not just a bystander. Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying. And tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He showed me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage burst in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Alright. Yeah, let's talk about How shooting. many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many. And they were so loud. Concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang. And then another. And then three very quickly close together. Five. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callow looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. Making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? 
Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Gage. Does that mean I can still collect my... my... Never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. She just wants her earrings, man. Go easy on her. Alright, anything interesting in this store? Oh, what's that? This isn't what we're looking for. Now, Phelps, why would you even think it's relevant enough to even pick up in the first place? We have the murder weapon. And the murder. The girl saw it all. A killer works in a jewelry store called Parkfield. That's a couple of blocks from here. Thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. Let's go to the gun store first to verify that the gun belongs to that dude. Yeah, what the? It's a lot of traffic. Keep tabs on the path of destruction here. What? What the fuck? I did. All right, all right. Yes, it's a dead person. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I didn't run over the guy. No, it's like you can't do a U-turn in this game. Uh, so I also checked out who Gunga Din was. Apparently it's an old American movie. Famous. It's in the National Registry. Gunga Din was this... Uh, Indian water carrier guy back during the when the British Empire was in India and he tried to get a promotion become like an officer of the Queen or something Watch it. so it's a very famous movie Gunga Din it's not the name of the movie just the name of the character yeah I think that's all the questions I had straight keep it straight what's so goddamn hard about that <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. I've been drinking. Alright. Guns, ammo, guns, sporting goods. Yes, it's still the same sniper ad. Ooh, I like the reflections. Looks nice. Is that building actually there? Yes, it is. Alright. Officers. What can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir. Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. Thing looks like it never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. You know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield Jewelry Store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. Hmm. Yeah, he had it cleaned, you know, just in case when he's ready to use it. Man, I fucking love this game. Everything's so nicely recreated. Right, let's go to the. Let's go confront Kalu. I think my brain is working a little slow today. I'm having difficulty understanding. So we kill the guy. Damn. 
kill the guy because because he might have been wait the guy that the guy that got shot didn't like the guy that shot him because he was Jewish oh, what? oh fuck I fucked up that text what was what's the earrings and the chick have to do is I thought it was like a lover squirrel I'm just retarded. Where'd that guy come from? That dude just ran out to the front mad quick. Get this morning's edition hot off the press! Ooh. New century. Bohort. Well, let me get the Mystic Tales. That's the kind of art style that No Man's Sky is going to be used. I think. Anyway, let's play. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? You can interest me in a confession. Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Hurry, officer! He's getting away! Well, that guy's always everywhere. Pretty sure when I was chasing the other guy, he was there too. Hello! Get back here! There he is. See him? Nah, hell no. Wait, so if I shoot him. Oh, shit. Then the case is over. But if I actually catch him, I could interrogate him. There he is, officer. If I shoot him in the foot. Too late, Cole. So what the fuck do you let me shoot the guy for? Yo, this is game, man. <laughs> so what if he's injured? He was running away from me. I just shot him in the Officer fucking Cole foot. Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? <laughs> uh, yeah. No, uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Hurry, officer! He's getting away! Shoot your ass. Snitch. Hello, get back here. All right, all right. Well, they even give me instructions to aim the fucking gun. Oh, I get it. Oh, I thought he was gonna get scared and stop. Man, whatever. Man. This game. All right, all right. Come on. Don't make it worse, Kalu. Yo, Phelps, you were in the army. You're supposed to be a, a fit cop. You can't catch this fucking jewelry owner. Boom. Pussy ass nigga. Yo, that car's gonna explode. What the fuck? Edgar Kalu. You're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. <laughs> Look at that fucking cheeky smile. The case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. The one you never saw. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. 
a motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Sweet. Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, the young fuck? Cubs. What kind of saying is that? This is your chance. Don't fail me. I'd be nervous. This guy looks like a tough son of a bitch. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Ah, I love the background music. All right. So let's look at how it fits. Voucher casings. She identified him, religious motive, and murder weapon serviced. Okay. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Okay, he says he had nothing to do with him. But we know that's not true because because the gun that he was shot with belonged to him. Cuz we have the shell casings and we have we have the goddamn gun. And it was serviced by the dude. That's how we know he's connected. And yes, the suspect, she identified him, but also the gun. So let me mention the gun. Oh shit, sorry, wrong button. So the gun, lie. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Yes we can, we have your fucking gun. You got nothing. What the fuck? Shit. You're gonna be laughed right out of court. What? I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Uh, you just want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. Uh, what? You disappoint me, cold fellows. Get back in there and raise some lungs, boy! I need a confession! Yo, it's bullshit. It's all fucking bullshit. You see, I don't get that. Can somebody explain this to me? Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. Alright, the chick, the chick said, fine. But still, you know, the gun should be legit too. It's his gun, his casing's on the floor. His weapon was serviced. I mean, that's how we know it's his gun, guaranteed. Then again, no, oh, whatever. Okay, she's she she said he was there. We know all about the argument. Good. Scaletta made a statement. You're you're counting on the girl. You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That's fucking. That you beast. hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. That's that's I had a that's sale. tough. That girl was ready to buy. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Cullen? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going, motherfucker! How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. All right, all right, all right. Let's not fuck this one up. Possible religious motive. Ratio. So, so lie, uh, so he's lying, and then use this as the evidence, right? Right? God damn it, wrong fucking button. 
Okay, he's lying. The lying color. I think you lent Gage money and he owed you payment. I don't know what you're talking about. Wait. See, now I'm fucking confused. Am I using the layaway voucher or am I using the possible religious motive? See, and I'm confused because of what he said. I don't even. I guess the voucher because he changed subject. I'm what the f? Go flap your gum somewhere else. I want my lawyer. <sighs> Alright, this game is pissing me I off. I just gotta keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck. Shut yourself. the fuck up, man. Yo, this is some bullshit. Am I. Is my. You disappoint me, cold folks. Get back in there and raise some lunch, boy! I need a confession! I have to hear that one more time. I'm retiring. Gage hated juice, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking Mr. about. Mr. Kalu. Okay, you're... Okay, you're lying. You're lying, Kalu. I think you lent Gage money, and he owed you payment. I don't know what you're talking about. Possible religious motive. What the you. fuck? Go flap your gum somewhere else. I want my lawyer. <sighs> I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around. I don't circles. understand. We're done. I just don't Unless understand. you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. I want to be horrible at this game. Holy fuck. You disappoint me, cold folks. Get back in there and make some lunch, boy. I need a confession. I need a confession. I need a confession. Gage hated juice, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Doubt. Okay, doubt. You left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher! You and that stup Gage! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kahlo, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake, the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Man, Officer Phelps. That was Isn't bullshit. It bad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the Chief of Police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing. I smiled. Yeah, okay. You barely catch up to a fucking jewelry store, dude. Okay, guys. Wrapping it up here. Alright, guys. See you next time, and remember, it's all good. Bye.